2021 is starting a new chapter for some of Tucson's most iconic food legends. This morning, we take you to one of the latest eating spots to open up, Barrio Charro. Oh. Barrio Charro is bustling. Overall, every, everything looks good. Looking good and feeling good for the joining of two culinary powerhouses. It's um, exciting to open up something at, at any given time, especially after all we went through last year. A tough 2020, but a hopeful 2021. Raymond Flores and his mom, chef Carlota Flores of C. Charro Restaurants, teamed up with Barrio Bread owner Don Guerra to bring Tucson something new. Love our, our families really just have enjoyed working with Don Guerra. He's just a such a great, great person in this community, such an icon of food that it's just so much fun to pair the two people together, like my mom and him. The big day is here. Barrio Charro is now open. We've moved the opening date several times just based on the COVID issues or dealing with what was changes were coming. Like the changes you'll find inside. We're not allowing seating inside right now. We're only doing orders and takeout and you can sit on the patio only for now. COVID also brought on a whole new set of challenges leading up to this point. Tasting food was hard because I had to, you know, go to another area, pull my mask down, taste the food, come back. It's just twice as long, twice as much work, but it's been well worth it. Well worth it for customers like Hillary and Stephen Shemin. Despite all the difficulties of this time with COVID, it's wonderful to see that the community can still support uh, restaurants, that a new restaurant can open. The food is even bringing back some fond memories. My dad, way back when, had his business up here on Campbell Avenue. So for me, uh, from having a store here in the, the 60s uh, and to see the growth of this area is, is very exciting. A very exciting time indeed. Just take a look at the menu. Maybe try some pan azteca. It's our house bread made with barrio grains. So Don developed the recipe. It's made with his barrio grains and a little bit of corn flour. It's a delicious, all around good sandwich bread. And besides the food you can get your hands on, the Mercado area sells some top items. Where we feature tamales by the half dozen, bulk salsas, loaves of bread. Um, so when Don sells out every day at Barrio, you'll still be able to get some of his bread here, but come quickly because it sells out quick. Popular food our community loves. That's why Flores says one of their main goals was to make prices affordable. We know how hard people are being hit. So our menu is really in that $10 range. Try and get sandwiches out the door that are fresh. Food that Flores hopes will put a smile on your face. We really love Tucson and we're glad that they love us back. A love that will keep the heart and belly full. <laughs> and my belly is getting hungry. The menu also has some vegan and gluten-free options. We have a link to Barrio Charro's hours and menu with the story on kegan9.com.